Welcome back to Score Cardio on City TV. We're talking about that Manchester United game against Burnley. Just wrapping yeah, up your so, thoughts on that. So, game. again, going forward, one mm -hmm. of the um, basic things he needs to do is to call Marcus Rashford into the office <laughs> on Monday morning and get him to understand. Yeah. Look, take it or leave it. He's one of the most untouchable in Players the team. In the team yeah. That the young man is refusing to grow as a player. How so? He had a fantastic season last season. Yeah. Everybody knows that Marcus Rashford is one of the obvious goal scorers in the Man United team. But there are times where you need to play for the team mm -hmm. and stop being too much of yourself. Yesterday, and in previous games, especially the game against Brighton, mm -hmm. there were glimpses of that against Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it became even more clearer and obvious that because he's not scoring, he's been tempted to force the ball into the net. Yeah. That is what I mean by he not growing as a player. Hmm. On two occasions, especially in that last five minutes, mm -hmm. there was a solid counter-attacking move. Mm -hmm. The ball was given to him by Bruno Fernandes. Look at the ground that Casemiro. Look, that is why I say Scott McTominay has mm -hmm. got no business being in this team. Because... If you watch that sequence yeah. again, Casemiro was behind Scott McTominay Came when the ball him. was given yeah. to Marcus Rashford. But look at the area or the distance he covered. Rashford, per his ability, attracted four Burnley defenders yeah. to him. All he needed to do after dancing and twisting and dancing and twisting, he just needed to roll the ball to Casemiro and United would have gone up by two goals to zero. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. So in that last minute, when Amrabat committed that foul, that resulted in a set piece. If Burnley had capitalized on that, I, as a coach, if I'm yeah. doing my analysis, I would not even look at that. Mm. I would look at, we shouldn't have gotten here. We could have killed this yeah. before there. So I'll, in my tactical uh, uh, post-match analysis, I'll be looking at Rashford and say, look, young man, it is not about you. Mm -hmm. It is about this team. Yes, you are important. Yeah. Don't worry. The goals will come. come. This is week number six. You scored a beautiful goal at the Emirates. Mm -hmm. It is just a matter of time, and it will be coming every week in, week out. Try and build a solid chemistry yeah. with Rashma Hoyland. Bruno Fernandes has always been the player who will create the most chances in the EPL. Mm -hmm. So begin to work for the team and all things. Look, this team will get better. Yeah. If you are a United fan, calm down. Amrabat was introduced yesterday. I still yeah. maintain Played about four or five minutes. that he's the pivot to this team. Mm -hmm. When he comes alongside Casemiro, he's Things a good passer of please. the ball. He carries the ball better. He protects it better. He wins it off the opponent. He stamps his authority on games. It can only get better. So don't worry. There are now some winnable games yeah. from now on. There's Brentford. There's Crystal Palace at any midweek. Yeah. There's Brentford. There's, there, there's, there, there's Sheffield. Clear all those and then get yourself into some rhythm. Yeah. Because the next big game will be the champions in town. And that one too, it has got nothing to do with form. It's about I always like your day. confidence when it comes to those games. And we just snap thoughts on Burnley for me. If 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 you are a Burnley player or even Van Sant Company, it's very hard to be discouraged by yesterday's defeat because I thought they were the better team. They were unlucky in some phases of the game. What did they get goals for? Oh, that's the question that they need to answer. Uh, Vincent Company said after the game that there's been some improvement in the squad. And I completely agree. Earlier in the season, they were absolutely beating three goals, conceding three goals every mm -hmm. single game. In the game against Nottingham Forest, we saw signs of them improving. And it's because they seem to have found the balance between attack and defense. Yeah. In the Nottingham Forest game, they they didn't go all out gank ho and we saw that in the united yeah. game as well the problem is how much time they dwell on passing the ball they keep mm. passing the ball around however it allows teams to uh, who are in transition to get back quickly and settle and uh, put their defensive position in in, in place which means they don't have uh, mm -hmm. any space to get mm -hmm. through anymore. And he needs to start working on that. Their passing needs to be crisper, needs to be quicker. Yep. If they are they going to... The they overpass the ball. They overpass the ball. And uh, that final pass into the 
into the box never mm -hmm. seems to come. Even when they get chances, a lot of the times they miss it. Yeah. You can't be missing chances if you are a team like Burnley who barely creates any chances anyway. So uh, a lot for them to uh, improve on. But I see signs that yeah. they are getting there. As long as they start getting the points, they almost did against United. They did against Nottingham Forest, which was their first of the season. Yeah. If they keep playing this way, if they start getting the one, two, one, three, three points, one point, three points, it will improve their players' confidence. Mm -hmm. Right now, I feel that some players might have their heads down, but the recent performances will be encouraging, not to, just to the manager, yeah. but to them as well. And once they have their fans behind them, knowing that, okay, they can play better, yeah. things will start improving. Just one them. point on yeah. Vincent. I think he himself, what he needs to do is to more or less bring in most of, some of the experienced experience. guys, like Rodriguez. I think he should be looking at him to start games. Mm. Because where they've got into yeah. now, you need somebody who has been, been there before. before. Yeah. And what Rodriguez yeah. will bring to them yeah. is that target man. It's like, it's all about the movement, off the ball movement. And you need to be a Man City, mm -hmm. an Arsenal, to be, to, uh, to, to be able to do that to perfection. Yeah. What he needs to do is to get them a target man. Mm. Somebody who will bring some form of variation. Yesterday in the game, you saw that after some time, mm -hmm. they resorted to what? Root Long one sort of football. Yeah. So that is what Rodriguez will bring. So he needs to, as a manager, tweak it a bit, mm -hmm. get the guys to move in and around Rodriguez and get him to be the focal point of the attack. And with time, I agree on 100% with what Edwin just said. With time, I think they will begin to score goals because hey, they need to score to win games. If they don't mm -hmm. score, you don't win, win games. Game. Well